Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho MVP. In this episode, I'd like to stress the importance of using custom search indexes for your public facing searches in Psycho. It feels like it's already a, a common sense uh, sort of practice. However, once in a while, I still see Psycho implementations using default Psycho search indexes for public facing website searches and there's just a whole list of reasons why you don't want to do that so in this video I'll try to cover some of the main ones I I feel that drive that decision however if you know more uh, please comment below let's see how um, how many reasons we can get in total okay so to start with custom indexes are much lighter than your um, Psycho content indexes, and there are many reasons for that. With a Psycho custom index, uh, first you can define a start path, a custom start path, so you don't have to index the entire content tree. So that makes it much smaller right there. In a custom index, you can also define, include, and exclude templates. So you define what exactly what type of content uh, gets included in the index further helping you to reduce the size of the index, right? Making it um, small and lean. And there are so many benef benefits to that. Your rebuild time is much faster now. Uh, your searches are faster, right? If you ever worked with uh, uh, large enterprise cycle implementations where you have hundreds of thousands or even millions of documents, rebuilds will take a long time, half an hour or more. And that adds up searches will slow down, right? Especially if you're using Lucene, running it on the same server with Sitecore, you might run into hardware limitations, all sorts of um, things come up when you start dealing with millions of documents, right? So hopefully you're not using Lucene by then either. Um, so custom indexes tend to be much lighter, right? Now, since it's a custom index, it's a separate index from the other Psycho indexes. So when you rebuild it, your other website or your con Psycho content indexes aren't affected by that. Hopefully you are also using a switch on rebuild strategy on your uh, custom search indexes. So that also doesn't affect your website. However, the point is that there is a clear separation of concerns. And whenever you rebuild one uh, search index, you shouldn't affect your other websites, right? And that's achievable with custom search indexes. Now, custom search indexes allow you to extend your customizations, right? You can enable, for instance, things like language fallback on your custom index, uh, if you care to have that feature, while keeping it disabled on the main Psycho indexes, right? So. Why add additional overhead to the Psycho content index when uh, you really don't need that there, right? And it also, by excluding and including templates, uh, it also helps you keep your code much cleaner. So now you don't have to create custom filters to filter out certain types of content, uh, or even now you don't have to write the ugly uh, uh, SQL to uh, 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 link search queries SQL link search queries to potentially ex exclude some of the templates from uh, the search results. And I've seen, I've seen that done as well, and that can get pretty ugly. So with a custom uh, uh, search um, uh, definition, you can exclude templates right from the beginning. So they don't even get indexed. They don't even make it into your index, right? So these are just some of the top reasons for creating custom uh, search indexes for your solution. And what you want to do is really create a uh, custom search definition per site, per database, per source database. Just like Sycor does that with Sycor uh, Master Index, Sycor Web Index, um, the two default indexes that come right out of the box. So you want to create a search, a custom search index per source database, uh, per website. So if you have uh, an authoring uh, preview environment, create master custom index, right? Create a preview custom index, and of course create one for the delivery custom index, right? So hopefully I convinced you and um, never think about using uh, default Sitecore content search indexes uh, for your public searches. Uh, if you think otherwise still, please comment on this video. Um, also, let me know if there, like I said, if there are any other reasons you can think of. 
but I mean those alone should be enough so hopefully uh, we can put a stop to using Cypher content indexes for public searches and uh, and if you like the video of course give, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe to my YouTube channel and for more tips like this check out cmsbestpractices.com and I'll see you next Friday over and out <laughs>